Yeah, Villanova basketball team, Rose Garden, for April 1985. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States and Coach Roly Massimino. It's a pleasure to have you all here today. Members of the Villanova Wildcats, well done. You not only represent sportsmen of great talent, you represent the spirit of overcoming great odds that Americans love like you could fit into a glass slipper. <laughs> yeah. Then again, it wasn't magic. As Gary McLean said, we worked so hard for this, no one in America knows how hard we worked down to turn a group of tremendous individual players into a team that will go down in the history books. I know that someone else here who deserves recognition, Jake Nevin. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And Jake, I know how much you mean to this team and to our shots. I was beginning to think it was 100% the way it looked on television. That's better shooting than I used to do in one of those Western movies. <laughs> you never ran out of ammunition, but all of you to block it. A special word of congratulations to the winner of the tournament's most valuable player award, Ed Pinckney. I'd like to be up against an awesome opponent. So congratulations. The game was a testimonial to the enormous talent on both sides. I think you'll all agree with me that Georgetown's team did a great job. <clears throat> Mr. President, we would like to make you an honorary Wildcat. Uh, this is certainly a tremendous Nevin, whom you brought out, and everybody else associated with the Villanova family. Uh, again, I want to sincerely. I'd like to present a jacket on behalf of the Villanova coaching staff and players uh, to. President. Well, thank you very much. I'm very proud to have that. Thank you. Thank you all very much. And Coach, uh, I can't be a fan. And I understand we interrupted your spring vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Perhaps we should have waited. It's beautiful. Thank you. Pleased to have you here. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Did you like to say a lot of family? Yes. Yes, I
was that unless you were faced with an overwhelming mandate from Congress, your words, you weren't going to do that. And they say that this group of small Demo uh, Republican leaders from the Senate are not a mandate. No, they were talking about totally canceling, that regardless of what inflation might be, that there would be no increases in the coal, or no coals at all. And uh, we're providing a guarantee to more than 6% uh, because it's compounded over the three-year period regardless of what inflation is. How are you going to try to sell your budget, sir? Are you going on television? Do you have a plan to personally participate? Oh, I think we'll use all the methods to tell the people about it, because I think the people are most interested in it. You, you 
you think the Democrats are going to beat up on you on that Social Security? If they do, they'll be lying in their teeth, as they did in 1982. What about Nicaragua, sir? Uh, the Nicaraguan officials say that uh, what your plan is is basically a declaration of war. How would you respond to that? Well, they were saying that before they even heard what the plan was. Uh, I can understand it. They don't want to give up the cushy spot that they've got right now. But we believe that the people of Nicaragua will be highly supportive of this because they still want the revolution that they, the goals that they fought for in the revolution. But the people in Nicaragua, sir, uh, don't have much of a say in government, according to I know. That's one of the things we're complaining about. Well, we want them to have more of a say. Well, is there any way you can get Ortega and the Nicaraguan government to, uh, to sit down, given what they've said today? Well, I think when they see the Contadora process and their neighbors, uh, neighboring countries all in support of this, and the conference of the ones who are willing to lay down their arms, simply ask for the right to negotiate and discuss what kind of a government this should be. It's a curious thing that no one seems to have paid any attention to in El Salvador. It was the democratic government, the elected government of the people, that asked the guerrillas there to lay down their arms, offer them amnesty, and to talk about participating legitimately in the government. And it was the guerrillas that refused. In the neighboring country of Nicaragua, the Contras, some are called the guerrillas, and I still say are freedom fighters, they were the ones that had made the offer to lay down their arms and enter into discussions about instituting democracy, and it was the government of Nicaragua totalitarian government refused. Mr. President, when Secretary Weinberger and others, and even words from you, suggested that if you lowered your military request, you would seriously begin to cut into the security of this country, why have you now agreed to lower your military request? Well, because we didn't lower it to the point that uh, had been suggested by some. We've all been in agreement. Yes, it's, uh, it is a compromise. There are things that I think were worthwhile that will not be done now for a while, be delayed. But it will be an increase, continuing increase, and uh, no weapon systems will be slowed down or uh, cut out Mr. the President. military budget so that we can honestly say that with this, our national security capability has not been reduced. Well, is 3% now your bottom line, though? Yes. We're not going to go any further. further. How about the budget as a whole? Well, you might, said there that be, might there be uh, more need for compromise yet still, Mr. President? with more than $50 billion now in reduction to, of the uh, deficit the budget. And uh, we think that uh, that's what our target was. This is what we'd like to have. What are you going to do to sell your Nicaragua plan? What are you going to do to tell you about your chances on the budget? Well, we all know the same thing. We all agree. It's going to be a fight. It's going to be a fight since 1981. There are factions in there that uh, just want to keep on spending. What are you going to do to sell your Nicaragua plan? Do you have a speech while you're out in California? Going on television? I haven't made any plans on that yet. The Nicaraguan government has said no, sir. What now? Well, I don't think they've heard from everybody.